Greetings, friends and esteemed adventurers. Welcome back to part four. Yes, we finally made it to part four um, of Deep Dwarf Necromancer of Macleb. It's been a couple days, but in the last episode we finished the lair. So in this episode, we are going to head into the Orcish Mines. To start off, let's identify some things. We'll identify our amulet. Wow, plus five of reflection. Um, yeah, that's amazing. And then let's identify, let's see, what potions do we have left? Experience would be sweet, but it's almost certainly not going to be that. We haven't found scroll of blinking, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and identify a scroll. There's our scroll of blinking. Okay. Wonderful. We have not found our orcish mines yet, so we will go back to D10. And moving on to D11. Alright, so an orc wizard suggests there are priests behind it. No problem. Pack of orcs shouldn't be uh, any big deal with our big axe. Uh, centaur, we'll uh, go ahead and pull them back if we can, but we are not really going to be able to. Our, uh, our amulet of reflection is going to basically do all the work here. Uh, so we've got a two-headed ogre. We could weaken him up a little bit with acid or things of that nature. I don't think it's really going to be necessary. Okay. So something that I think I have to say is... Okay, well first off, this is Wand of Clouds territory. Just, well, actually, you know what? trying to win we'll save wand of clouds for when I actually need it I don't actually need it here what I was gonna say is uh, this character is extremely strong right now like unbelievably strong um, we have a plus 10 executioner's axe with um, anti-magic er, evocable berserk as well as a plus 10 plate armor so realistically I have everything I could ever want to win the game. Um, I guess we don't have a helmet, do we? Okay, let's go get our helmet. I don't know why we didn't get that earlier. Anyway, we have everything we have, would ever want to win the game. We have the right gear. We have the right consumables. So at this point, it's just going to be a matter of not doing anything dumb. Uh, so I need to not get overconfident. I need to not play like an idiot. and not tab through things as I want to do. So that's gonna be the goal of the rest of this character is just to not play stupid. Because honestly, like I said, if, if I just don't play like an idiot, then this game is in the bag. Our gear is absolutely amazing. We have, um, yeah, we have McCleb to help us through any difficult situations. But, yeah. Getting a little bit of interesting lag here, which I'm not used to. I know some people have talked about um, Barotato being a little bit laggy recently, but I haven't seen that until, like, right now. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough room for flesh. So let's change that. Uh, we have two rings of protection from cold, so we'll just drop one. Okay, and I don't know what's in there. It could be something pretty scary, but we're gonna try. Well, none of that is scary. It's just like a little poison vault. If this was like D14, I probably wouldn't try it, but D11 is early enough that a character who hadn't done Lair yet could, reali or could reasonably try. A lot of times they'd be too difficult, but we had lots of escapes if we needed them, so. I wasn't too worried. I don't think we found our... Oh, yeah, we did find our work entrance. Uh, let's go to work. Might as well. 
Okay. So this is where I need to not be stupid and not just tab. Because we could kill everything here quite easily until that orc warlord mites everything and just uh, wrecks us. So let's not let that happen. Let's wait 100, 200, 300. I don't know if that's going to cause them to not be mited anymore, but I think it will. And this is where life gets interesting. Are we dead? I might be dead. Let's blink again. We're getting destroyed by these nets. And then we need to heal wounds. That was insane. Um, a big part of me wants to berserk, but... If we come out of the berserk and the big scary stuff isn't dead yet, then we're in trouble. Trying to kill the warlord. Okay, the warlord's dead. So now the rest of this should be no problem. Oh, Harold was netting us. That was insane. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad we ID'd. Uh, blinking earlier. Let's drop our longsword. Well, I guess we can drop like any of those swords. We don't need any of that. We'll drop that one. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I identified blinking earlier because I was trying to break out of that net and it just wasn't happening. That's an orc sorcerer, 1% chance to paralyze, so low enough, but definitely like the thing to keep in mind when you're fighting an orc sorcerer. Um, if you do get paralyzed, it's pretty easy to just die. actually a pretty brutal orc entrance we got herald plus an orc warlord that's pretty nasty it's probably not the worst I've seen but wow okay more nonsense but again this should all be okay um, if a warlord comes along and mites them then we'll want to get away but our uh, our cleaving two hand or our cleaving executioner's axe, plus the fact that these things don't have very much health, just makes all this pretty straightforward. Okay, bookshop. Don't really care about a bookshop. We're using heavy armor. So that's a Cyclops. Um, that could definitely hit us pretty hard, and we don't really have anywhere to run. At least not a place that's safe, so we'll just charge him. Okay, that was totally fine. I, I guess I probably didn't need to worry about that as much as I thought. I have some deleted footage of a Spriggan Enchanter walking into here and uh, getting one shot by a Cyclops. <laughs> Okay, we are taking some damage, so let's let's keep that in mind. Okay, and we've got a magic scroll shop. Um, yeah, we'll take these identifies, two of them anyway, um, because we have some more scrolls to identify, as well as we'll identify a potion cancellation and then let's uh, 
buy the last one. And we'll do the potion. Okay, Berserk. We probably don't need a Berserk potion because we have Evocable Berserk, but one never knows. Maybe we'll acquire a plus 11 vamp executioner's axe or something like that. In which case we would lose our evocable berserk. Another bookshop, dang it. If I was a caster, I'd be sitting happy right now. Two bookshops. Okay, and no manuals. Okay, let's take the glowing helmet because ours is just normal. Okay, plus zero of C and Viz, that's fine. And then do we want those gloves? Yes. Okay, plus one gloves of Dex. Rockin', all right, orc is complete. Let's go to D12 and we'll finish out the dungeon. And we found a Bailey on this level. Um, I am not at all against doing a Bailey. I'm not going to go search it out because we kind of have all the gear we need, but sometimes Baileys have like potions of experience at the end. I think it's right here actually. Let's go ahead and eat. So that would be really nice. Manual of fighting, you know, some, some of the gear you can find in there is really good. So we'll do it if we can find it. Sorry. Yeah, it's right here. So let's do it. Okay, I hate this one, but we have an amulet of reflection, so it shouldn't be too bad. This would be amazing if we were an octopode or, uh, well, less an octopode because octopodes don't have any AC, and this one could be really scary for a character with no AC. But uh, merfolk, would, this would be just incredible. Normally I think Baileys are really scary, but I usually find them a lot earlier. This is probably one of the latest Baileys I've found, and therefore I'm the most, probably this is the most geared character I've ever had come into a Bailey. So this is fine. We'll see what we get at the end. Probably nothing, just because that's the nature of Crawl, but... Okay, so can we get over to them safely you can see how on a character that has low AC this is just a nightmare and it's lagging like crazy oh my gosh another Randart Executioner's Axe okay this was totally worth doing if anything just to have two Randart Executioner's Axes in one game It's so bad. Okay, let's uh, let's go get the enchant weapon. Don't really care about the bardish. What should we drop? Let's drop magical power. I don't see ever needing that anymore. 
And do we have any reason we wouldn't want to just wield ID this? Probably not. Okay, so the plus eight executioner's acts of subjectivity, pain brand plus flying, Arlek, and MP plus nine. That's really good. <laughs> They're both really good. So with ours, we don't have Arlek, so we just got Arlek. Okay, amazing. Absolutely incredible. Alright, we'll get out of this Bailey. We'll keep exploring. Alright, let's not die to stupid slimes. Yeah, because this guy can hit up to 88 damage. I've died to that before. Really don't want to experience that again. Don't really have much in the way of evocables to deal with it. So let's just let them split up. If you run away from slimes, uh, they'll split up on their own. We'll just go up the stairs. There we go. Okay, that's a Hydra. We definitely don't want to hit that with our axe. Uh, the heads will obviously um, regrow, and uh, all of a sudden you'll be having a really bad day. Okay, do we have additional RF that we want to put on? Yes. We definitely do. We'll put that on instead of our MR ring. Cool. I thought we had RF, otherwise I would have, as soon as I saw the Ifrit, switched over to that. Oh man, and McCleb just doing all the work. Don't worry guys, we'll just tank a Cyclops and a Two-Headed Ogre at the same time. Easy game. Alright, now there's just the two of them, so we'll just take them out. Okay, so a group of ugly things shouldn't be a big deal. Um, yeah, just shouldn't be a big deal. We can just kill them. Uh, Potion of Agility. I definitely think I want that. So let's drop Amnesia. Probably don't need an Amnesia. And if we ever do, we can always just come back. Okay, D12 complete. And we're out of room for flesh again. This is just so fun. Uh, we'll drop our other longsword. Don't ever see us using that. Okay, so whites, even though we are crazy strong right now, I don't want to get surrounded by them and let them get lots of free hits on us and just drain us. Uh, let's put on protection from magic again for that wizard. Uh, because wizards, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, wizards can paralyze, and sometimes they can banish as well. So, MR obviously is way better than RF for that. Another bookshop. Man, all my casters are collectively rolling in their graves. Can we paralyze this? That would that would just make my life. Not so much. Alright, well. Another Hydra, so we'll go ahead and switch to our uh, Maze of Protection. This I like this Great Maze for Hydras. It serves two purposes. It serves as a non-bladed item, um, which means that it won't cut Hydra or it won't uh, make Hydras respawn, and it also gives us additional AC against Hydras, which 
is the best way to deal with hydras because they hit so many times for low damage it's just really easy to deal with them when you have high ac so uh bogarts a big pack of them that can actually be really scary if they start summoning a lot of nonsense which is why i basically just rushed them And then how are we training? I kind of want some more invocations. We can probably turn off armor for that. Because um, now we're at max piety. I think I want some invocations in case we do need to summon a big demon to help us with things. I want that demon to be nice and strong. Actually, I, I might be talking nonsense. Hold on. Let's see. Does <coughs> I'm gonna have to do some research because I wonder. Wow, we have a scroll of requirement. I wonder if that if the fail chance is based on piety or on invocations or both. Because if the if the if the invocations are only needed for these, then I don't need invocations. Yeah, let's turn invocations off. I think that's right. Um, I think I want some dodging. Yep, I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and acquire. We probably don't need armor. I mean, geez, we don't really need anything. We definitely don't need a weapon. I guess let's do jewelry. We don't really need an amulet, but we could use a cool ring. Okay, I'm not going to put that on because it could be, um, well, actually, yeah, we can because we have remove curse. And rings don't have anything like amulets like harm where it'll, or it'll hurt you to take it off. Okay, that's, that's just junk. We already have our poison. We don't need the int. Okay, well, it was worth doing. Okay, D14 complete. Let's move on to D15. Uh, another Hydra. So, yeah, as you can see, we just took almost no damage from that Hydra. Wand of random effects. Definitely don't need that. curing do we have six and eight heal wounds that's probably enough this would appear to be our death's entrance yeah definitely this is absolutely our death's entrance okay all right Nessus shouldn't be too too bad we can kind of come over here and use line of sight to our advantage okay I guess it helps to have a plus 10 executioner's axe mm. let's drop our ring of fire just to put this on let's see what it does Positive energy. Okay, in a three rune game, that's just not all that useful. If we need it, we can come back as well. What's here that you're trying to pick up? A scroll of amnesia, probably. So yeah, let's just go past that. Okay, so that's a pack of ugly things. 
It's probably worth putting protection from cold on, especially because I'm an idiot and I'm not wearing a ring. Um, and the blue ones can do quite a bit of extra cold damage if they hit you. Okay. Uh, so the dungeon is complete. Um, I think we have time to dive into some swamp. So let's do that. We'll start looking for runes. Now this is where it becomes even more important to continue to play at least relatively tactically. Um, if I was playing a weaker character I'd probably be a lot more careful, but since we are very strong we can afford a few mistakes. I'll try not to make them, um, but it is very easy to get overwhelmed in here. Um, we'll just pull this guy back here. So we'll do this a lot. We'll just pull things back, try to fight them, um, you know, as, as few enemies at a time as we can. It doesn't always work, especially in Swamp, because you, at least I, like, I don't have, oops. So, like, we could put on a ring of flight, and then we could evoke flight to go over the water. Um, but we move slower, we attack slower, etc. in water. And so... When you're running, it's hard to run away from things because a lot of times you're forced to run across water um, or like run around water, in which case they a lot of times will get extra hits on you. So, um, do we want to drop anything for this amulet? Yeah, let's drop Brill. I don't really expect to cast anything. And just like last time, we can always come back. Sweet, more Wand of Clouds charges. Okay, we have an 8-headed Hydra. Just because I want to, let's hit it with a Karare if we can. Eh, that's not working. Okay, we'll put on our Mace. Let's identify the amulet. Magic regen. We'll go ahead and drop that. And a seven-headed hydra. See, this is a perfect example. Like, if I had to run from this guy, if I wanted to stay on land because they move so fast in water, I'd have to go down here and then up here. Instead of, you know, if I was in the dungeon, I'd just run here. Which is several fewer moves. So, it's really easy to get overwhelmed in swamp, is the moral of that story. I don't think I like this vault. This looks like a cemetery vault, which are super annoying, but maybe not. Okay, so that's Roxanne. Uh, she's gonna guard her uh, ice book. We're not casting, and uh, we only have one pip of RC, and that's with a ring. So I'm just not gonna bother dealing with her. I don't really see the point in the, of killing her, at least not currently. Um, let's take the Hydra up. Yeah, good. Because that crab was going to make things kind of frustrating for us. Now we could have used that to our advantage. And I think those clouds would do damage to the hydra. But I would rather fight the hydra up top. And then let the crab burn out down here. Alright, two hydras. We'll definitely split those up. Yeah, good. And 
there's another one waiting for us at the bottom, so we'll keep our mace on. Awesome. Sweet. So we've killed, at least what I can tell, most of the welcome party. Another big hydra. What is this swamp for? Another one. Is feeling like Swamp 4, not like Swamp 2. Come on, game. Okay, Swamp 2 is complete. I know I got a little quiet there. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot to say, really. Alright, Spiny Frog. We'll, uh, we'll use Mockleb to steal some health from him. And just like other Hydras, we'll switch to our mace. Back to the axe. Uh, we have a bunch of enchant weapon scrolls. Might have to come up with a good use for those. Could enchant up our blowgun and go into some throwing training. That could make things interesting. I've never done that before, and I've heard it's good. What about enchant armor? Do we have any of that? Nope. Do we have any duplicates? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's drop these other rings and we'll put on our golden rings. Ring of poison resistance and yep, they are both poison resist. We already have poison resistance on our um, axe, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that. because I think magic resistance is much more valuable. Okay, Swamp 3 done. Now I'll move on to Swamp 4. Slow down a little bit because Swamp 4 can be quite a bit scarier. Usually there's some kind of boss guarding the rune. That can be the Lernian Hydra, um, a couple other things. Um, none of that should really be that big a deal for this character, but it's all stuff to think about. And as you can see, we are getting a little bit of a bombardment of enemies. I didn't mean to move up there. I thought there was an enemy. But I, I do want these crabs to die. The ghost crabs. They're the ones summoning all the, the nonsense and the clouds. and Okay. So we have quite a bit more on its way. That's fine. We'll switch to our mace. We'll pull the hydra and the dragon up. 
we'll kill the Hydra, then we'll switch to our axe, kill the rest of these, and then we can go back down. There's another Hydra, so we'll pull him up. Same deal. Kill our Hydra friend, axe, and back down. One more Hydra. I could totally, if I was really worried about taking too much damage, like if this was a Felid, I would never be doing this. I'd be going down other stairs, stair dancing, etc. But since this character is so strong, I don't have to worry all that much about it. And the more enemies we kill here, the fewer enemies we have to kill um, like around the rune, and the fewer enemies we'll have to deal with if we try to kite learning in or something like that. So I think if we're strong enough to do this, then I would rather do it this way. There is enchant armor. Do we have anything that we really want to enchant right now? Yeah, I think our gloves are worth enchanting. Okay, 40 EC, 12 EV. That's just amazing. Okay. Uh, thorn hunters can be super annoying. They can corrode you and they can summon all these plants over here that make it so you can't uh, run away from them. Okay, so this looks like it could be the Rune Vault, though I'm kind of doubting it. This is bad. Okay, let's, uh, we have 10 casts of Wand of Clouds. Let's do that. We'll put the Great Mace back on just because it's going to give us some extra AC and it's not going to make the Hydras gain any additional heads. Okay, yeah, that was worth doing. Okay, we're pretty heavily poisoned. We're also confused. So let's go ahead and cure out of that. I don't understand why we're still confused. Didn't we just drink curing? Okay, weird. Okay, so there's our rune. We'll go ahead and um, at least tentatively finish Swamp 4. There could be some fun stuff waiting for us. Um, we can always leave if we run into things that I really just don't want to deal with. For example, Lernian. Alright, so Sprig and Druid shouldn't be any problem for us. They have very low health. They just tend to be hard to hit. But since we have our nice big axe, as soon as we do hit, it'll just die. Okay, there's a seven-headed Hydra. One of my favorite vaults in this game is uh, one that can spawn in the dungeon. I need the cure again. This is crazy. Oh, it's because I lose my R poise when I switch to the mace. Okay, so that's something I need to think about because that's I'm not doing very well with that. Um, one of my favorite vaults in the game can spawn in the earlier dungeon. And it's like... We'll drop intelligence. Um, it's like a, a three-headed hydra with some kobolds. And it you get it really early or you can get it really early I've seen it on like D7 but I, I just think it's really interesting and thematic you can get a, a three-headed Hydra okay so we're actually starting to take a good bit of damage okay this will be some health nice Okay, Swamp 4 is done, and with that, I'm going to call this episode a day. If you watch the next one, um, we will start our foray into, what do we have, Sw uh, Spider, I think? Yeah, Spider. Spider should be a lot of fun. We have our poise, a nice big cleaving axe, so that should be cool. We're going to do that. Thanks for watching.